This improved version of the fifth generation Seat Ibiza Super Mini offers small car buyers a smarter set of more media savvy talents. It'll need them if it's to distance itself from its Volkswagen and Skoda design stablemates and continue as a credible alternative in this tightly fought segment. On the move in this improved version of the Mark V Ibiza, Seat still hopes that one of the first things that you'll notice is this model's big car feel, something particularly evident in its rigid, rattle-free, road-going demeanour. In part, this comes courtesy of the torsional stiffness, which was made possible by the Mark V model's sophisticated MQB A0 chassis, which in turn means flat cornering and benefits ride quality. Uh, we remain slightly less sure about Seat's decision to extend the same big car feel to the steering, which as a consequence is still a touch lighter than some really enthusiastic drivers might like. Uh, the good news though is that you still get enough feedback through your fingertips to uh, keep you really well informed on how the front tyres are gripping on faster, twistier roads. Bottom line, uh, if you ideally want a Super Mini with the spaciousness of a Skoda Fabia or a Honda Jazz, but you'd also like the sharp handling of a Fiesta and the supple ride of a Volkswagen Polo, uh, you'll get closer to that elusive combination with this Seat than with almost any other class contender that we can think of. None of which would be much use if the engines let the side down. Uh, one of them still rather does, the entry level normally aspirated uh, three cylinder one litre MPI petrol unit with 80 PS and a feeble 93 newton metres of pulling power, which is predictably sluggish and in which overtaking manoeuvres really do require a bit of strategic planning. It's best to avoid that option and go for the one litre TSI turbo three cylinder petrol power plant that we're trying here, the one the vast majority of potential Ibiza owners uh, will rightly choose. If your buying budget's plump though, you'll also want to know it's available in top 110 PS guys, and that'll give you six speed manual transmission or the option of a DSG dual clutch self shifting box. All the one litre TSI models are WLTP rated at up to around 52 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and around 124 grams per kilometre of CO2. There aren't many exterior changes to the revised version of this Mark V model, but you might spot the now standard LED headlights and the revised alloy wheel designs. It's still a five door only design with short front and rear overhangs and the wheels pushed right out to the corners of the car. Under the skin, as before, this car is based on the Volkswagen Group's MQB A0 platform, and that's shared with the Volkswagen Polo, the Skoda Fabia, and the Audi A1 Sportback. Time to take a seat up front, which is an area of this updated model into which a huge amount of design budget was poured, a wise choice on the Spanish brand's part. Let's take a seat in the rear. Now, despite the fact that this fifth generation model is actually two millimeters shorter than the 2017 era model, access is quite acceptable by super mini standards. And once inside, the benefits of this fifth generation design's extra body width and longer wheelbase will be immediately obvious, not only to owners of the old Mark IV Ibiza, but also, we'd argue, to those familiar with most other rival products in the Super Mini segment. It's certainly impressive that in a car measuring only a fraction of four meters, uh, it can allow a six foot adult to sit comfortably behind a driver or front seat passenger of similar size. Try doing that in a Fiesta. This is all down to the extra 35 mils of legroom allowed by the car's MQB AO platform. There's also decent headroom. Finally, let's take a look at luggage space out back. Uh, press in the large Seat logo that uh, doubles as a boot release and the rear hatch opens to reveal 355 litres of luggage space. If you need more room, you can of course uh, push forward the rear bench. It's now split folding across the range, but it doesn't fall quite flat. Once retracted, up to 823 litres of space is revealed. <laughs> 